you have two brothers, their names start with K. Why haven't you started a dark skin R&B group? We working on it, we working on it. Can I give a name suggestion? Nah, you know, it's funny, like, <laughs> when we were kids, my mom was like, we need, we need like a brother's name, like, we gonna do all, all K, 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 K. No, oh, not K, 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 no, 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 no. So that's why the R&B group just never happened, honestly. You should call it the KKK, like reclaim it, like people, you know, we did with the N-word. Hey, that's some 2020 shit. Maybe that's the move. <laughs> Maybe that's the move. Um, well, getting into it, you do so, so much. And, you know, one of the things that I think I admire about you is just how transparent you've been about your past and your own self-esteem issues. But you've gone, you've been acting since you were a child, you had a modeling career. So at what point did you get past your self-esteem issues and say, oh, my face hits, you know, I'm gonna be out here. When did you get the confidence? Um, <laughs> my face hits, that's funny. <laughs> Put on my um, bumper sticker. Like you said, I have two brothers. I was always like the middle brother and um, you know, the African background, they don't really hold back. So like my uncles would come to the crib, they'd be like, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Like, you know, they just basically saying like, oh, you've like, you been eating, you know what I'm saying? And, it was just like, I was just a chubby, chubby brother. And I always, I found like, I found peace in my mind. You know what I'm saying? Like I always like to just do creative shit that kind of helped me escape, but I didn't necessarily know I was escaping at that point. Now, when I was like 16, 17, I was like, you know, I'm about to be 18. I'm gonna get my Coogan account. I wanna, I wanna be myself. Like I'm gonna get this look, you know? And I, and I realized the only way I could do that was like, you know, confronting what was holding me back. And at that time it was, uh, my physical, you know, I, f I felt like I couldn't really be myself unless I, I guess, conquered that challenge. And um, I lost like, you know, 40 to 50 pounds at right. 17. Um, well, we have the before pictures, right? No, we don't. <laughs> I said, who did that? <laughs> we didn't do that. <laughs> nah. But uh, it was just brown rice and chicken. I was over on Ladera, you know what I'm saying, running and trying to do, you know, my little miles at my Nike app. Shout out to Nike, I'm down to do a deal. Um, and you know, that was it. And I didn't really know what I was doing at the time, but I just was trying to be free. And I realized even years later, like, that's still what I'm trying to do. You yeah. know? And it's not necessarily a trying, but it's more just like a relinquishing, like trying to get rid of all the shit that makes me feel like I'm not. Thank you.